Hey, and welcome back to the Amnesia of the Dark Descent. My name is the Extremist Hunter with Mac Daddy Gaming, and where we left off, we were hearing a bitch getting uh, screwed up. Whoa! 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 set of three rods is unavailable. There's one rod in the interstate rooms, which may work. No! Oh my god. Ooh, it in the box. Is it in dars? So dark. Give me some oil. The tinder boxes. God, I think I have like thirty. In the box. Oil anywhere? In, no? No? Um. <laughs> no! 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 
Oh my god, there's fucking spit everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Um. Where do I go? Where do I go? Get over here. Oh my god. That was bad. Oh my god. Okay. I guess over here, maybe? Seriously? That any better. Oh my god. I tried to fit the pieces together, but the, like the sand dunes, they shift. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Good old Herbert. Was the first to die. Uh, we all gave him the proper memorial service. And you returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as well. With an apple and four pondered on the strange happenings. governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. 
Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Dun dun dun! The plot thickens. Oh man, it already broke. The key. Please let it be here. July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This yeah, it's all fine and dandy, but I really just care for some oil right now. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to end it here. <laughs> My name is The Extremist Hunter with Mac Daddy Gaming. Uh, leave a like, a subscribe, or subscribe, and, uh, leave a comment if you want. Or, um, if you want to see a game for me to do, then, uh, contact me ASAP or leave a comment, and I'll be sure to try and get to it as soon as possible. My name is The Extremist Hunter, and, uh, yeah, see ya.